Hey guys, hi, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 24. I'm wearing my... <laughs> my share Christmas hat uh, that I wore last year. Um, we're uh, starting a four-day trip. Awesome crew. Um, we're flying to Chicago. Time is three hours and 10 minutes. We have 115 people booked. I don't know what that's going to look like in reality. It's it's Christmas Eve, but uh, oh yeah, happy Christmas if you celebrate the holiday. Um, and then we're going to fly to Boston. I suspect we'll have a light load to there as well. No, 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 to Tampa. We're flying to Tampa tonight. Uh, I think that's it. So let's head to uh, let's head to Chicago. Before I forget, I have to tell you, my. I took an Uber this morning because it's Christmas Eve and I slept in. Uh, so I took an Uber uh, to uh, work today and it's had the nicest Uber driver we were talking and it turns out he's also from Boston. And I asked, oh, so are you going to celebrate the holiday? He's like, no, most of my family's either far east or they've passed away. I'm like, I, I get you. And uh, so instead what he's going to do is he's going to hit a series of McDonald's. He's going to buy a bunch of Happy Meals, bring them down to the Strip and to places where he knows homeless people are going to be, and then go back to McDonald's and buy a whole bunch of meals and then bring... So he's going to be distributing little Happy Meals to people around the Strip that may not have a meal today. So I thought, I'm like, oh my God, I love you. I love you. He's the best. So, um, so, I, I, so that was a very nice start to the day. Uh, also, I should have said... One of the reasons I took an Uber is because my cat's buddy was unusually loving today and I couldn't resist uh, reciprocating that love. Eleanor was being a doll and Claire, I kicked, I kicked with my foot, Claire, I think in the head. She was not on purpose. She was lying in bed with me uh, down near my feet and I had this horrible nightmare. I remember flashes of it. I kicked her in the head, the poor thing. She seemed okay. I gave her some treats and a little love, so she looks like she forgave me, but I kicked my cat. Oh, that's how I'll title this video, I kicked my cat. All right, let's, I'll see you in Chicago. Hey guys, hi from Chicago. It's freezing here. I'm super glad I have my little scarf hat on. Um, the flight was very nice. Uh, it was very, very easy. Great passengers, of course. Uh, no challenges. Uh, we are flying at 30, 39,000 feet, which I think is crazy. Um, I just think that, like it's wild. We're flying 39,000 feet up in the air. Isn't that weird? Um, yeah, nothing really to say about the flight. Super easy. No real turbulence. We did one service. We were done. Great crew. I think I mentioned that earlier. Um, our flight crew, the on, uh, onboarding flight crew that's taking us to Tampa, the um, pilot just gave us a little Starbucks gift card, including the cleaning people. Like he gave the people who clean the planes, which I think is just like going above and beyond. Like they should be taken care of, but no one really ever does. So I was just really impressed by him. Uh, that's it. So we're hoping to get to Tampa earlier. Boy, don't I look weird? The Santa hat and the mask. Uh, we're hoping to get to Tampa early because the air, the hotel shuttle stops running at midnight. This happened last week, if you remember me talking about it. So last week we got the shuttle, no problem. This week I'm really, really hoping, especially since it's literally going to be like Christmas when they pick us up. So I'm, I'm hoping we have a shuttle. Um, but if not, we'll just, we'll work it. We'll make it happen. All right, so I will probably see you guys in uh, Tampa. All right, see you there. Hey guys, how are you? So that flight from Chicago to Tampa was packed, packed, packed. We had 181 passengers. We, the plane holds 182, so you know it was packed. Everyone was perfect. Uh, in fact, we had to be de-iced in Chicago, which took a while. And then we uh, got here to, to uh, Tampa and... Uh, the power went out in the plane and, and everyone had to stay uh, on the plane so that, you know, no one could get hurt in the dark. And everyone just was just priceless. Everyone was wonderful. So, I mean, I can't, 
I couldn't have asked any for any better on a Christmas trip or any other. As I mentioned, my crew is amazing. And let me show you. <clears throat> I'm going to wait till we get in a shuttle. But once we do, those are my Christmas stockings. I have them all, all uh, saved up. I'm going to give them in the shuttle. I was going to tie them up on the uh, in the galley tomorrow morning, but uh, it's just easier to give them to them. Uh, since it is Christmas, it's 1240, 1244 in the morning. So Merry Christmas. Um, I will wrap this video up when I get to the hotel eventually and then post it for Vlogmas Day 24, even though it's now officially the 25th. But I will fi I'll finish this video up in the uh, hotel room so I can tell you about the reactions from my coworkers. Okay, I will talk to you soon. Bye. All right. Well, I'm, we're at the airport. I'm in the uh, lobby of the airport heating food up. It is... 1 in the morning i do not have enough time to put food in my hot logic mini so i'm just heating up some food in the microwave um i just gave my co-workers there there's just so you know there's nobody in this room um so i'm taking my mask off um they were all very surprised um i thought that um victor would not be surprised because i think he watches some of my videos uh but um they were all very surprised and very pleased, uh, which made me very, very happy. Um, I love doing things like Christmas stockings and uh, Easter baskets. I plan on doing Easter baskets for my coworkers in, well, for Easter, but. All right, so let's see, how would I wrap up the day? Um, easy, simple, pleasant. Um, the, uh, the biggest challenge was, uh, you know, uh, whether or not we were going to get a shuttle to the hotel, uh, because according to the app that we use to, you know, keep each other updated with hotel changes, this hotel, um, shuttle ends at midnight and we didn't get out to the pickup area until like 1240 or something. So by all means, we uh, would have had to have taken like a series of taxis to get to the hotel, but instead the hotel showed up and uh, suited up and our and the a young lady picked us up uh, for the uh, hotel shuttle so I, I tipped her five dollars for me because it was just a little miracle that she actually came out and picked us up and it's Christmas so um, I think yeah that's about it it was a good day and you know I've noticed um, as I keep talking I always do this I tell you I'm done talking and then I keep talking um, I have forgotten to say things I'm grateful for and I was doing that once a day uh, and today, what would I say I'm grateful for? <laughs> um, I'm grateful for the fact that most of our passengers um, have come to expect what the rules are and are following the rules. Uh, so we had very few challenges with mask rebels and things like that lately. So it's been uh, it's been a little bit easier on the plane. You know, the more people like because we're we're past 300,000 people, aren't we? Like who have died? I don't know. How cheery is that thought? Um, but I think the more serious it is and the more we talk about the vaccine and stuff, the more that people understand this is a real thing. So we don't have to fight them to our masks anymore. So I'll say I'm grateful for that. Um, I'm sure other things will come to mind that I'm grateful for, but it's late and I got to let you guys go. So I will hope I will see you tomorrow uh, on Vlogmas Day 25. Since it is officially Christmas, I'll say Merry Christmas. Um, I love you and I'm blessed to have you um, as a viewer or a subscriber. And I'm very, very grateful that you've taken the time out of your own schedules and lives to watch me. So thank you. I love you guys and have a great night. Fly safe.